Hello and welcome to a video on putting a swimming pool up. So this year we're putting the smaller swimming pool up, not the uh, big one last time. I don't want to kill my grass again. Um, and I don't need such a big pond anymore. Uh, although it doesn't mean I won't put it up eventually. Uh, for the fry it might be quite handy if I've got the space to do it. But for now I'm going to put this smaller one up. So let's see if we can get it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do one of the magic tricks that people do on YouTube videos and see if I can manage to do it. There we go, done it. So it was as easy as that. You didn't know I was magic, did you? <laughs> Not that good though, I haven't put the filter on, so it's just a tank. <laughs> so we'll sort the filter in a minute, but worth a look at the tank. So this tank's seven foot by a metre tall, so seven foot wide, metre tall. Nice little tank, it's about eight year old. Um, I've used it quite a few times, so it's done really well. They are eye-wateringly expensive these, especially if you just want it to build your pond. So you're probably better off buying a swimming pool, to be honest. But this one has done me really well. I'm so so pleased with it. It's been great. Um, yeah, that's it, basically. I've no idea how I'm going to plumb it up. I know what filter I'm going to put on it, and I'll show you that in a second, but I'm not deciding whether that's going to be the outlet or the inlet. We'll find out in a second. So there we go, we've got it full of water, and that wasn't a magic trick, especially not when you're on a water meter. There we go. Um, so I've set up all the pumps up and the filter, and I'm going to put a little heater on it for now, just because it's a bit cold, and I'm just worried about it being a bit too cold on a night. The fish that are going in here are already not heated, so they're fine, but I'm just worried about this dropping a bit too much on a night, because when it's in sun, it can get quite high in temperature, and then... You know, obviously if it drops too cold on a night, it'll drop cold, so I'll put the heater on just in case, I'd, I'm hoping not to use it. I've also, for the first time, put this thing on, I've got it, so I'm just going to try it. So basically the water's coming from the outlet in the side of the tank, and then into this, through gravity fed thing, and then out of there, uh, into the pump, then into this, and over the side again. So this is just a bit of playing about with really I think it'll do a bit of a job you know might take out any heavy muck and put it down um, it might even cause me more trouble than it's worth because probably leaks I haven't tried it yet these little filters these are great little filters actually they're not perfect for the main filter on a pond they're ideal for something like a skimmer or something like that or a temporary tank like this one where you just want something quick and easy to you know put it all together i quite like these the brilliant nice little compact solution to do this job uh, so that's why i'm running that it's uh in a ways filter clear 15,000 yep and I've got a uh, super fish what we're on uh, 15,000 pump on it but I probably won't be running it at maximum uh, I'll probably be running it about between 8 and 10,000 something like that um, but we'll see the tank itself great tank really pleased with it a uh, little bit worried about all this water on floor here but we'll see about that later on hopefully it dries up it has rained a lot so i'm just thinking it's maybe trapped under it or something um so yeah there we go it should be good hopefully so one of the problems you've got we're using these side outlets here is it if you stick the pump straight on it which i've done before I just stuck the pump straight there if the when the fish circle around the pond like they do when they get to that, it sucks them to it, so they literally go boom, like that. And uh, obviously, your pump's got quite a lot of force on it. I'm hoping that because I'm gravitating it into this uh, chamber, it won't do vortex, that's the word, vortex. Because I'm gravitating into this vortex, I, uh, I'm hoping it's not gonna suck quite as much. Obviously, there's the same amount of water going through it, but it shouldn't have that force, so I'm hoping it doesn't suck the fish to it, um, like the pump did. But then again, if it does, I'll just put the grill back on it again because there's basically just stick a grill in it so that it, uh, you know, can't suck the fish up. But the fish are too big, it just gives them like a bruise, basically. So what I've done is because I haven't got a ball valve going into here, um, I've just put a cap on the end of that. So if I take that cap off, then water will rush into here and then we'll see where all the leaks are in the system. So let's get on with that. Hoping this cap floats actually because uh, Oop. hey, Pretty. so the water flows quite nicely into this chamber, which is quite nice. 
I'm imagining that's going to drain quite a lot more than I expected actually out of there. Looking with the time that's taking to fill up. And uh, yep, my, uh, my slide valve down the bottom there leaks. So that's going to need a, a cap on it or something to stop it leaking. But we'll have a look at that in a bit. So uh, there isn't enough water in there basically to <laughs> bring it over the lip. <laughs> so I can't test the filter yet. Um, there we go, that's a bit of fun. So let me fill it up a bit more. As with all slide valves, it was uh, guaranteed not to work. So there we go. So we go, we're filling it up and we've got the first bit of water trying its best to go over the top. There we go, so the, fi the filter's now filling up, or well, this pump line anyway. I've just put the, uh, so what I've done with this is I've just put a 90 on it, rubber pipe, comes around here and then over the top it just ends there and then when I, uh, when I do want to drain it out I can just stick it down the uh, drain there and not be a problem but obviously I've got to keep that pipe up like that or it'll uh, let water flow everywhere so uh, yeah but it works, it'll work anyway. You know, it's not a permanent solution, but there we go. So there we go, we're full now. It may need a little bit more water, and I know it's a bit high, but I'm going to put a net over it for when fish get on, so it's it's not too much of trouble anyway. You can't quite see that the water is flowing. The pump's on about half speed. City him up right. Nope, don't want to. Um, but it is flowing quite well, so it's just to the point where it's not sending any air down there. Uh, so it might need a slight bit more water or even slow the pump down. So let's have a look. So it's actually moving quite fast. So, oh, I don't know. That, uh, as you can see, old ducky there is uh, moving at a bit of a pace. So, I mean, that's half speed on a 15,000 pump, so I could probably cut it down another notch. Um, yeah, but pleased with that, not too bad at all. Put one in there, see if that one spins round. Do not suck down there. Think it'll spin round? Not really, for some reason. Think it would, wouldn't you? Just wanted to go down that, I don't want it going down there. Oh, no. no. I'm not trusting that. <laughs> Chuck it in there. Yeah, so I might actually slow the pump down rather than filling it up because uh, these are moving around at a hell of a pace. I wouldn't want to be swimming. A swimming against that the whole time so uh, yeah quite pleased good setup seems to be running nice it's uh, just chucked it down so that's why everything's wet through it weren't me I hadn't uh, spilled a lot of water everywhere <laughs> um, but uh, it actually appears to not be leaking really I put this bag over the heater again the heater's turned off um, but it's just then in case it's a frosty night I'm be a bit worried about that in a minute um, so yeah, seems to be running nicely. I don't know if there's a little bit of leaking going on with this actually, but something to look at for later on. So the tank's been running for a couple of days now, and it's running really well at that height. I've got the uh, pump not quite halfway, so you get to select between 1 and 10, I put it on 4, whatever that means. So 15,000 litres of pump, I'm sure it's on about five, 6,000 litres or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's running really well. And as you see, a nice little vortex in the middle, that's kind of funny. Um, I think I may bring the water height up a little bit, I'm not sure. I've just put the heater on, so the weather's been really cold lately and it's a little bit sunny as you can tell at the minute. In fact, we're just chucking it down a minute ago and now the sun's come out. Uh, so I thought I'd put the heater on because I've just checked the temperature and it's only like, it's not even 2 degrees, it was like one point eight or something like that so it's not even two degrees somehow i don't know why it's that cold because the air temperature is not quite that cold i won't say um but there we go so i've just put the heater on at 10 degrees well it's sunny my solar panels will be powering it so i'm not too worried and uh, just see if i can bring it up a little bit i know the fish that are going in it we'll have a look at them in the next video unfortunately um but the fish that are going in it are not heated so they should be fine but i do want it about 10 degrees something like that at least um but there you go, that's putting the uh, tank up. Nice little tank, quite happy with it. Good amount of water. Just need some fishies now. So I can't do a full YouTube video without having any fish in it, so we'll have a quick look at the fry. As you can see, they're really happy still. They're always happy, these fish. They're doing really well, they're growing really well. 
These aren't the ones that are going in that tank at the minute, um, but I may be putting out another tank later on for these to go in. Uh, we'll see, I'm not sure yet, it depends why I've got the equipment or the tank to do it. Um, yeah, so I really would like them outside, a bit of sunlight will bring out the colours a little bit better and stuff like that and hopefully they'll grow on a little bit better. It's a little bit too cold at the minute, obviously through the winter I kept them at 26 degrees which I would do again, I highly recommend it, they've been absolutely flawless. Um, but I've brought them down to about 20 degrees now so they're currently at 19.8 and just low, starting to lower them down so that they can go more acclimatised to outside temperatures rather than you know 26 degrees is not realistic for UK temperatures um, so yeah I want these to go outside shortly to get a bit of sunlight um, so we'll see how that goes on in another video later on if you like this video then please like it if you want to see more fishy related videos then please feel free to subscribe and I should be doing a video on these fry at some point I want to get them all out put them in a different tank so I should be doing that at some point and any questions or comments please put them down below and thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video Bye. -bye.